Wow, what a difference two years can make, huh? Just a quick little two years. Well, that's what's going on right now with Democrats. See, for the past two years, the Democrats have been telling us that President Trump colluded with the Russians over and over again. And it was repeated by their friends in the media. Friends in the media right now at MSNBC and CNN who are seeing their ratings plummet, right? Because they had been pushing that narrative for so long. Now, we had been saying all along here that this was all conspiracy theory stuff, and it wasn't true. And Robert Mueller came out with his report. Oh, I'm sorry. A.G. Bill Barr gave a summary of the report and said no collusion and really no obstruction of justice. So we haven't heard from Robert Mueller telling us that what the AG is saying is untrue, but yet the Democrats continue. Now the shoe is on the other foot. You see, because yesterday before a Senate committee, the Attorney General, Bill Barr, said that he thinks there was spying of the Trump campaign during 2016. Shockwaves. He's doing the president's bidding. This is conspiracy theory stuff. How does it feel? How does it feel, those on the left and in the media, to suddenly have the whole thing turned around? Well, it has been turned around. And I think there's something to it. Now, Barr was cautious and said, I don't know if any laws have been broken into, but spying on a campaign troubles me. Remember, he was supposed to be a good choice, according to the Democrats, because he was fair-minded, he worked for the Bush administration, he had an impeccable record, you know, just like James Comey was that way, until, of course, he, he um, destroyed Hillary's campaign. By the way, Hillary destroyed her own campaign. It's just interesting to see, in two years, how things have completely flipped. Now, do I think there was spying? Yes. Do I think it deserves to be investigated? Absolutely. Do I think there should be a special counsel? I'm not 100% sure yet. Maybe Bill Barr is the guy who can do it because there was some type of conspiracy to try to bring down Trump. You know it, and so do I, and the whole FISA requests and the dossier. It's really a dark, dark period in our history. I don't care if anyone is ever convicted, indicted, whatever, and I don't expect to see that. But what I think is very important is that we know the truth about what led to a two-year hoax. Because someday, just like right now, the roles will be reversed, and it shouldn't happen to anyone, no matter what their party. Okay, tomorrow is Freestyle Friday. You make the call. You pick the topic. It's all you, but I want you to go to Twitter right now. My question at Twitter, at Jim Polito, and look for the blue check mark, is should a felon in prison be allowed to vote? Currently in Massachusetts, they can't, but Honey Sanders wants to allow felons to vote. Why? What's the purpose? So anyway, take the poll. We'll have the results tomorrow morning after the 7 o'clock news. Have a great day, everybody.